welcome to the big draw 98 wow. uh, at apex 66 hq uh with dan me that. and our mystery guest in the back there that is dino that is the stig <laughs> hang on i can oh, probably oh, turn dino. him up hang on what's it i'm going to turn him up so we can hear him. I, I can already see in the comments, there's a lot a lot of comments already saying put it back on. So... <laughs> talk, Dino. Have a talk. Hello. Can everyone hear Dino? Get the thumbs up. That's way too loud. You say that, but it's not for the uh, not for the viewers. So anyway, apologies that we are six, seven minutes late. Um, we had a couple of camera issues. We're there now though. Right, we had a couple of camera issues. Uh, we couldn't get the live feed to the camera, and obviously we can't go live before Correct. any of that works. So, you what? Sorry. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. my friends. So, uh, as you Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just being nasty to you. <laughs> so, um, we are not at Pidcock Triumph as originally specified, and that's because they have uh, a few issues going on there. Well, not issues, they've got a few staff uh, on holiday, etc. And the, it's holiday season, and the you. DP has had a beautiful baby boy. So, big shout out to Mally. Mally, well um, done. And little baby, I didn't think you had it in you, mate. Little baby Jakey, so uh, congratulations. Uh, another massive shout out to a regular follower, Andrew Phillips. Had some wicked news yesterday. Yes, he um, did. Uh, we won't go into the detail, but things are looking great for you. So, well done to you, Andrew, and we wish you the best of luck for later. Um, so, bloody hell, Dan, what a week. What a what week, mate. What a week. Um, so... <laughs> A couple of us, uh, all three of us, had a little uh, dip in a pool, if you're ready there, Dan. Uh, yeah, we did, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had a little dip in Sorry. the pool. I'm just resetting the timer because I realised uh, it's actually slightly out. So there we it's go. 35 minutes to go on that Kawasaki. Just give it a quick plug. Ladies and gentlemen, there are still a shitload of tickets left on that bike. Uh, it will not sell out. It won't sell It's out. as simple as that. So get over to the website, take advantage of a less than 999 ticket draw. Check this out. We were keeping cool this week, weren't Absolutely. we, Absolutely. Beautiful. Beautiful. It was, it was it lovely. It was needed. It was needed. So, um, yeah, the temperatures this week are, are like anything unseen in this country. Wow, we needed um, that. But, obviously, you need your wits about you. Um, because there might be a question or two about it. Yeah, so, of course there will. So, um, so that's what we've been up to this week. Um, quick update on winners. So, uh, viewers last week will remember that we couldn't get hold of Martin Wiley, even though we tried twice on the live feed. Um, well, we he we were staying up in Preston last week, so we went and had a beer and something to eat afterwards. That's in the north. And he called us. Uh, was only last week. It was only last week, Dino. Um, Jesus. So uh, Martin gave us a shout. Lovely, lovely fella. So excited. Only rides a bike. Is that right, Dan? You've spoken uh, yes. more than me. Yeah, only Martin rides Wiley. A bike. Um, and he was planning on coming all the way down to Worcester to collect it from Aberdeen. From Aberdeen, right? So he looked at train times. Train times were eight hours, 20 minutes. So he thought, F that. Um, he's working tonight, so he can't watch, unfortunately. But uh, he decided to get a flight. He booked a flight this morning, ready for Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, has had uh, a medical situation, which means He's been advised he shouldn't fly, so he's lost his money on his flights, poor bugger. Um, we were really looking forward to meeting him. We will meet him at some point. Uh, now, luckily, Ducati Manchester Group, being the largest Ducati group in the world, uh, they uh, have a dealership in Glasgow, so we're going to get the bike up to Glasgow for him, and he yeah. can collect it from so there. So it'll be a remote handover. But, it will. Um, but yeah, so Sadly. good news there that he's getting the bike, which is fantastic. And then just a very quick update on you and Morgan. Um, I believe, or we believe, that the Desert X is due to be with Worcester any day soon. Any so day soon. As soon as that's PDI'd. Uh, Excited for him. Either all three of us or, oh my God. <laughs> um, or What's either all three there? of us or two of us <laughs> will go down and meet you and then actually hand that bike over for him. So that's a lot. We have a phrase that pays this week so um basically this is one way of getting involved and winning some website credit for you to play on yes it is Apex 66 competition for free now i wrote down a phrase that pays earlier and <laughs> i've left it over here two seconds <laughs> okay so the phrase that pays this week dan doesn't even know what this is yeah no idea and you have to say it in the accent i'm not going to try but when you answer the phone you have to say it in the accent so this week's phrase that pays is 
Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Forest. 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 So Forest this week's phrase that pays is life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. If you are lucky and selected and you answer that phone, you will win £150 website credit this week. So uh, that will be coming up later on and we'll explain what you needed to do to be involved in that draw. So and while Dan's getting all set up, you wanted to give a little shout out to Trustpilot. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, trust pilot. Um, you will notice that on our website, I might as well bring it up and show you. Um, on our website, there is a trust pilot logo. We are piloting with trust pilot right now. It's how people know we're real. You will be invited if you've entered any of our drawers, you will be invited as a verified purchaser to give us some feedback on your experience and four or five stores should you choose. Uh, not trying to buy them, no, I'm just no, saying. No. If you like what you see, uh, then give us a shout out because it really helps and it helps other people that go, these things are never real, no one ever wins these things. They don't know that we've got 850 winners. so. You can tell them that and uh, if you play with us every week and have played with us a while and if you, even if you won anything, even if you haven't and you know someone's won something, you know it's genuine. So uh, give us a shout out yeah. and uh, check your junk mail because sometimes they go in there. We've got 70 reviews back so far just in a, a few days. So there'll be more reviews coming out shortly. It's super quick to leave. You don't need an account. You can click how many stars you want, leave some comments, and uh, we get to read them all. They're on the bottom of the website. They cycle through so you can even see comments come up. No Rudy's, you lot. I know what you like <laughs> because they've got a profanity filter that is uh, harsher than they Facebook's. Quite, they were quite um, specific about this, weren't they? Yeah, I think, I think they actually said no fucking buggers. Yeah, exactly. I think that was where they were going. We were like, well, that's so. not how we roll. So, um, so, great shout out about that, Dan. Well done. And yeah, thank you to everyone, all 70 of you that have replied so far. But as Dan says, check your junk because you will have an invite there if you have purchased in the last couple of weeks or so. Right. Not till 50 stars. It's Woo-hoo. nearly half past eight and we haven't found a winner yet. So yeah, let's bloody crack right. on, shall we? What okay. are we doing? We are going to give a quick Google random number generator display um, to show all our new viewers tonight how we draw our prizes. There okay. we go. So, do you want me to run you through this? Go, you go. No worries. So in the top right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see a picture of the prize that we're drawing. In this case, it'll be the Rucker Forsair gloves. This is just a demonstration. We'll enter some numbers outside of tonight's draw just to show you how it works and that it's all live. If you're really, really quick and you want to get a comment in, uh, you, can, you can comment on another number so we're going to go from uh, 3,000 that's going to be the starting number if you're really quick I'll take a comment for a maximum number Paul Blowers Thank you, Alfonso, Alfonso, 300 stars. Paul Blowers, start, sent a review, one star. I know that's a lie. <laughs> you give us a great shout out. Thank you very much. Right, Matt. 3566, six, Matt Bergen, as I said, mate. There we Three, go. Five. Let's do Thank that. Thank you, Matt. 3566. Six. There we go. We do a little drum roll. We press go. 3442 is the number. If that was your number, we match that to the entry list. If that's your number, you win. If no number is sold for that one, we simply spin again. And we keep spinning again until we find our winner in the case that a prize hasn't sold out. So that's how we do it. Well done. Okay, right. First prize of the evening then are the very popular Rooker Forsar gloves. So it's one, two, something. One to one, two, five, please, Dan. One, two, five. Is that a man alive? It is. And One, just, two, five, just man alive. Just before we do that, you have literally just under half an hour to go and get your top up. 28 minutes. Tickets. 28 minutes to buy the winning ticket. I'm yeah. just saying, Kieran Ross won it at exactly this time. <laughs> the every KTM. Week, and he's going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do this. Should we try and drum roll? Let's find a winner. Work. Let's Good do luck, it. everybody. Drumming roll. Yeah, it's working. And it is number. It's a massive number. It's number 10. Number 10. Number 10, Bill and Ben. Right, let's have a look. I haven't got to scroll far. It is a winning not. ticket. Didn't sell out, so we no, 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 you it's a winning look. ticket. Previous winner as well. Ooh. I recognise his name, so I assume it's, assume it's that person. We'll find out. He's usually in the comments, actually. Uh, let's see, see if he's here. Uh, where's my entry list? There we go. Well done on the Rucker Forsair gloves to a Mr. When, when I can find my mouse. 
No Nicholas. No Nicholas. Well done, No Nicholas. Either side we had Danny Reed and Paul Brooks. Just below that we had Andy Anderson and just about that Martin Bronskill. Oh, unlucky buddy. Uh, and well done to everybody for entering. Don't you worry, we'll do another pair. It's bloody hot at the moment, isn't it? Those gloves are nice. Oh, Matt Hurton says hit the thumb, hit the thumb, right thumb, guys. Two right. Two oh right. yeah, do we, uh, like that feed. We did say it. We did say that. Likes and stars feed our children. Absolutely. That's what we say at Apex. Thank you very much. Right, moving swiftly on because there is a Guinness waiting for us down at the pub. Uh, light lock. Cool. If we make it in time, mate. Yeah, we probably. If we will. make it. Uh, what are we doing? Sorry, light lock. Light lock core. Cool. Light lock core. Cool. Here we go. Ticket numbers one to one seven five. Please. Here she is entering in now. One two one seven five. Man alive again. There we go. Good luck, everyone. Drum and roll. Good luck. And it is number seven. Ooh, that's David, Be Hi. David Beckham's number, that. Oh, did you see that? The I'm camera just... Oh, Raymond Montgomery. Raymond I'm going to have, have to be a little bit careful. If the camera feed goes completely black, the other stuff will stay on your screen, guys. But this is quite temperamental tonight for some reason. So uh, if it does suddenly go black, I should notice. I should be able to put it right. So bear with. Right, let's find it. Number seven. Okay. Light lock was prize number two, was it? Prize number two, yeah. Oh, I didn't have that in my order. Ooh, I just realised you can see the back of your heads in the, uh, in the TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember doing it before. Well, sack that off. <laughs> you see my penalty spot. Where's my uh, remote? <laughs> Where's my TV remote? Why? Well, I'll just sack it off. <laughs> it looks messy, doesn't it? Um, ah, there it is. There it is. If we do that or that. There we go. Look at that. You don't have to see us anymore. Uh, right, sorry. Here we go. Uh, number seven. That's what I'm trying to find, isn't it? Oh, I'm nearly on the RST jeans on there. Right. Number seven. We have a winner. I don't have to scroll far, do I? Uh, right, here we go. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for, I believe, a mister. He's got a good name, Stu. You'll like it. The Light Lock Moto is... Stuart Appleby. Stuart Appleby. Stuart Appleby. Either side, we had James Harvey and Martin Brunskill again, unlucky. Uh, Nigel Wilkinson and Andrew Stevens, the other side. Unlucky guys, but well done, Stuart Appleby. Do not fear. We will do another light lock soon. <laughs> well, there is actually a light lock uh, one on the site already. Is there? I've just got two more tickets. There's a link in the comments if you fancy getting some. Ah, well done. They could be the winners. They well done, winners. Dino. Um, right, moving swiftly on to prize Come on number then, big boy. three. What are we having? RST jeans. RST jeans. Hopefully that's what you've got. That is what I've got. Excellent. Let me Ticket just check the right entry list already. <laughs> yes, I have. Ticket numbers one to one four nine. One to one four nine. Got close these, didn't they? They did towards the end, yep. There we go, right. Good luck, everybody. Big love. And when I can find my mouse. There we go, drumming roll. Do you want a mouse, Matt? Nah, be all right, mate. Number 133. What are you doing behind my ear? <laughs> you have no idea, but if you look on here, you can see. You can see what he's doing. I've done it. <laughs> right, 133. Three. Let's have a look. I've got to scroll for this one now. 133, 133, 133. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. One, three, three. It's all the luck in the world at the moment. Oh. All the luck in the world at the moment, this man. Right. He's turning into the new Alfonso Taddeo. It is not Alfonso Taddeo, it is Alan Henson. Alan Henson. Congratulations, Alan. Ticket 133. Either side, we had Stephen Bigwood, because <laughs> his name's in capitals. That's what we call him, Stephen Bigwood. He loves it. Uh, and we've got Jonathan Lord, and the other side, John Williams, and then Steve Worthington. Unlucky guys, but well done, Alan Henson. Congratulations. Well done, Alan. Uh, we'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay, Dan, if we have it ready, we are going to have a quick look at prizes that will be ending on Monday. I don't have it ready, mate, but we can definitely have a quick look. Uh, right, like prizes. Be ready. <laughs> <laughs> prizes ending Monday. Website, let's go. Come on then. Ending Monday. Ah, oh, the following. We've got the 
Ooh. PlayStation 5, ladies and gentlemen. Quite like this for myself. Uh, the PS5 with the MotoGP game, MotoGP 22, uh, the latest MotoGP game. 73 tickets currently sold out, 299. Goes regardless, three days, 22 hours. Then we got the GoPro Max 360, 32 tickets out of 275 sold so far. Then we've got the hydraulic motorcycle workshop table lift, 27 tickets sold out of 275. Getting on these guys, the odds are are epic then we've got the scorpion xo 1400 air carbon helmet uh, beautiful choice of colors uh, lovely carbon helmet 20 tickets sold out of 199 then we've got the sparta camber ce textile jacket and trousers only 11 of you in for that at the moment or maybe less if you've bought a few tickets um, great odds on that out of 225 then we've got the tcx uh, road uh, they call them ro4d to be precise waterproof boost hey, choice of color Legend Nathan Vaughan uh, is Revit suits with him. That's what he's saying. Oh, oh, oh that's nice because he's got the mesh jacket in that as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the full, superb. The full kit, yeah. Well, that's that's what you want in the summer. Mm. Luckily for you viewers, we have more. Uh, the TCX Road waterproof boots. They are a summer boot, even though they are waterproof. Eleven tickets sold out of one two five. And then, uh, lastly but not leastly. Oh, no, there's a few more actually. Bloody hell, there's a lot ending on Monday, isn't there? Alpine Stars, <laughs> Alpine, Alpine Stars SMX6 V2 boots. Choice of different colours. You can go stealthy black or a bit of flash of red. Other colours are available. Then we've got the Merlin Axe men's shirt with built in Kevlar. Choice of different colours. Perfect summer riding shirt. Uh, just coming up 10% sold. Then we've got the Muck Off Pressure Washer. You guys devour these. 30% gone already. Will sell out before we get there. So be quick. Um, two pound ticket. Get over there. It's pink and washy then second to last we've got the lego technic uh v v4r yeah commute to work on that beast can't you 17 tickets sold out of 99 only 99 tickets and a very quick short and sharp free to enter competition ladies and gentlemen you have no excuse not to enter it it is for free free pair of rst urban air mesh gloves Big Who doesn't love a bit of that, eh? Yeah. Big shout out to Paige as well, who won last week's Lego, the Lambretta. Yes. She sent some pictures in. We'll get them added to the website. Yeah, thank she you for sending quickly as well, pictures apparently. of your Vespa. <laughs> I, is it appropriate to say that? I guess so. Yeah, I think it is. Um, it's true. It's factual. That's not all we have on, um, ending on. No, it isn't, mate. No. We've got this absolutely beautiful concourse beast check it out you could win this immaculate 1999 kawasaki zzr 600 those who have ridden them know just how good the zzr 600 really is to ride it's an unlikely nutter bike but on speed alone it is up there with the bikes that can get you nicked in second gear category roomy and comfortable the zzr 600 is practical too but it's not all about looks. This thing's engine is absolutely indestructible and the power carries you up to 14,000 RPM in no time. The engine is reliable, grunty enough low down and positively mental at anything above 4,000 RPM. The quality of this beast is second to none. You will not find another one of these in this good condition and it could be yours for less than a tenner. That was the classic Kawasaki ZZR600. I'm Dino at Apex66. If you want to win bikes just like this for less than a tenner, then head over to apex66.co.uk and check out what competitions we've got live right now. Woo, what an absolute beast. And uh, Dino's just made a really, really valid point. Currently, the PlayStation sold more tickets than that. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's done about 64 tickets so far. Tickets strictly limited to 6 99 uh, That bike will go regardless of final ticket sales. You? It's yeah. not done about 64. It's done exactly it's 64, 64 tickets. Um, and okay. uh, it is absolutely concourse. Hello, Dino. <laughs> What's all that about? Um, 64 tickets sold currently. That is your best chance of winning a motorcycle with Apex 66 ever and probably ever. Um, it's concourse, you never see them in this condition. This bike is not your typical ZZR 600 of the 90s. No. This has done 7,000 miles since brand new, Full fully recommissioned, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's not even mm. key marks on the yoke. It is so pristine. It is a collector's item and a future absolute classic. Beautiful. You won't find them like that anymore. Oh, well. Not so, unbastardized anyway. Gonna have a little, You've got a pretty good chance of winning as well. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> More chance than the PlayStation right, currently. Right, time for question number one. <laughs> Do you want to read it out, Dino? <laughs> I um, struggle with that. Question number one. 
Listen up, okay. listen up. What temperature did it get to in the UK this week? Ooh. I, w I know what it was here yeah. on my front little, what do you call it? Is it a thermostat? No, what's, what's it called outside? Uh, uh, weather vane? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what don't that is, do you? Don't talk to me about your weather vane. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy animal. Um, yes. minutes left on that. So what temperature did it get to in the UK this week? <coughs> okay, there that's you go. question number one. Oh, we got okay. some answers coming and there's some variance, I like it. Yeah. Ooh, who's right, who's wrong? There okay, right, moving on. Prize number four. This was very popular towards the end of the day. This is the Krieger Waste Pack. Second time that we've run it. Uh, um, Krieger Waste Pack, as the Americans call them, Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack. Uh, ticket numbers one to one, two, five. Yes, mate, when my mouse wants to work. You sure you don't want a mouse mat? What well, you can get me one if you want. One to one two five. Did yeah. you say? Yes. One to one two five. Well, man just alive. Do, just check the entry list because this was the one we were unsure of. Okay, I will do that before I spin the wheel. Oh wow, that's a nice mouse mat. Mouse mat. That works, do that. No, that's it's really good. I'm kind of telling you, you did. Uh, <laughs> it is mm. one two five tickets. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, Dean's got his helmet back on. Is that Dean's hot, mate? <laughs> So yeah, that hot. 16 minutes on that Kawasaki, ladies and gentlemen, the Z1000 minutes. SX. Last chance. Right, drum and roll on the Krieger. Good luck. Mouse is quick now. <laughs> Ticket number 61. Well done, 61. No harm done. There we go. Let's have a look. Krieger. Little scroll, little scroll, little scroll. 61 is a ticket that's sold. Let's highlight him now. Here we go. 61 find the entry list on here there we go ladies and gentlemen congratulations with ticket number 61 krieger r3 r3 even i nearly said 33 then uh is paul nuttall paul nuttall congratulations congratulations either side we had it's gary in wilkes well. in the comments either yeah, side yeah, you've been sending stars uh, thank you, paul. stars feed our children we'll send you a krieger waste pack either side we had gary oh. wilkes and kerry coburn unlucky oh, guys oh, usually oh, watchers yeah. as well so Kerry's lucky guys. Krieger before, I think, hasn't she? Unlucky. Yeah, yeah. Kerry yeah. Letter us at ABR, didn't she? Yeah. Do you remember? I do. From Ireland. I do, yeah, I remember. She came over and said hello. Okay, moving swiftly on then. Prize number five, which is the Alpine Stars J6 boots. These. Shout out to Paul Nuttall, 50 stars. Woo woo. Well done, Paul. Stars for your children. Um, Paying us back for them already. Yeah, Alpine Stars J6 boots. Ticket numbers one. Sorry, mate. To one, four, nine. I'm nearly there. There we go. Uh, one, two, what? One to one four nine. He one to one sell four out, nine. Gents, so, if we don't find a winner, Dan will simply spin again. Here we go. These were probably the furthest away, I think. It is number one three five. It's all the fives tonight, isn't it? Man alive. Mm -hmm. woo, woo, woo. Nigel Costa Mills just got two more on the Z thousand SX. Like it. Get in there, my son. It's all the fives. He's due a bike. He said he hasn't got a bike. We've not had a five yet, though. So where have you got that from? I don't know. <laughs> no, I've said five man alive a few times. Yeah, because yeah, we're going one, two, five, one, seven. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that's, that's that's what it is. Sorry, my bad. I am a muppet. Right. What we got? One, three, five. One, three, five. Let me scroll and find it. Here we go. One, three, five. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Let me highlight ticket number one, three, five. Is entry list go? Is a Mr. I presume David Moore. Congratulations, David Ooh. Moore. Woo -woo. Either side, we had Simon Lucas and James Wilson. Unlucky guys, but well done, David Moore. Well done, David. Who has won more pairs of shoes? <laughs> sorry, that was a terrible joke. Ooh, that was shit. It was. That was awful, wasn't it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, moving swiftly on. Prize number six. Oh, hang on. I'm not ready. Let me reset me Google. Oh there we go. Back to zero. Uh, this SGS. is the yeah, incredibly popular SGS 50. You guys love this. With the, the uh, 72 piece toolkit, I think. Ticket number start at one. Ticket number start at one. 42 and piece, mate. 199. 42 piece. You got keen there. Uh, sorry, one. 42 piece. Uh, 199. Well, actually, it's probably 43 piece if you include the hose. 10 meter hose with it, isn't there? There you go. Uh, right. Uh, 199, did you say? Yeah, good. Happy days. Drumming roll, good luck everyone. Good luck everyone. And that is ticket number 103. 113 minutes. <coughs> Guys, 13 minutes. Less than that, 12 minutes and 55 seconds for that quackadaggy. 
Still over 200 tickets unsold. I mean, wow, come on, guys. 200, over 200 unsold. Wow. Genuinely, we thought it would get a lot closer. Than I that. thought it'd sell out, so if I'm honest. It just means your odds are even better. Yes, it does. So, yes, it does. Holiday, they? They, they must be. 103. 103, here we go. Highlighting is a ticket that sold. It's sold. Yes. And that is on the air compressor, yes, just checking. Da 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 da. It is, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Philip Herbert. Philip. Well done, Philip Herbert. Uh, unlucky Paul Nuttall, one away. Uh, and Craig Batty, the other side. Sorry, guys. Were but you, well done. Were you going to do a Northern Irish accent and I'm Philip Herbert? Fallop, weren't you? Fallop. I knew you were. <laughs> Fallop. I know a few Phillips from Northern Ireland, that's why. <laughs> Probably not from Northern Ireland. Uh, who knows? Could be Scottish and could get offended. Philip Herbert. Congratulations, Philip. Herbert. Philip. Well done. we we'll ticket take it won yourself a cracking bit of kit there. Beauty. Well done, okay, we are now going to uh, run through prizes, Dan. Why you reset that? That are ending next Thursday, so a week today for that's big, the twenty eighth, the biggest draw we've ever done. Big draw one hundred. Ooh, yeah, he's doing it on his own <laughs> from here. Because <laughs> uh, from he, here, because I'm not here and Dean's not here. Uh, abandoning. <laughs> so he's going to go and have a point on his own, like a like well, like a no man, <laughs> like a no man on my own. So you got me, myself, and I next week, guys. Uh, right. So. Uh, what are we on? HJC Rafa 11 helmet. Beautiful, absolute top of the line, top class helmet from HJC. I've got a 10. They are insanely light right, yeah. and We've very run a comfortable. Few of these. Very popular. Loads of choice of colour. 18 tickets sold out, 199. Moving on, we've got the GoPro that finally has sold a ticket. Three tickets sold out of 225, guys. Uh, <laughs> That's just nice. That's drawn. In Weekly. six days. Yeah, six days, 22 hours. Three tickets on the GoPro Hero 10 Black Bundle. Then we got the Widman 429 piece, eight draw, uh, racing red tool chest, 40 tickets out. So, what, 299 sold? Then we got the Senna 30k jewel pack, uh, 11 out of 249 currently sold. Then we got a Krieger. We love a Krieger R20 with the fabric tool roll. Eight out of 125 tickets already sold, only £2.50 a throw. Uh, then we've got the Metzler, uh, choice different compounds and tyres. If you're brand new to Apex 66, there are a lot of choices and tyres. If you think, oh, I'm not sure, have a look, drill down. There are pretty much for every type of bike, there is a there is a tyre. 14 tickets sold out of 199 currently. Another light lock if you don't win one tonight, or well, you didn't win one tonight because we've already drawn that. Um, four you, Appleby. <laughs> out of, uh, yeah, if you're four out of 175 tickets currently sold. And then we got a few more prizes. Uh, the Dane Easy York Air Boots. Uh, we've run these before, very popular. They did sell out last time, we kind of expect it again. Something that we all needed on Monday and Tuesday, the Revit Eclipse Summer Mesh Jacket. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's Nathan Vaughan, he's got one of them. Uh, the Knox Urban Pro Summer Gloves as well. Uh, only one, two, five tickets, ladies and gentlemen. So that is that. I wonder if we've got anything else ending, Stu. Oh, let's have a look. You could win yourself this exceptional Triumph Tiger 800 XRX with a load of accessories on it, including the blacked out Triumph Official Expedition Panniers, engine bars and of course that TFT dash. Enter now because you could be joining over 750 Apex 66 UK winners. The live draw will be broadcast from right here at the supply and dealer Triumph West London. This Tiger 800 XRX is an absolute weapon of an adventure bike and this one you could win comes with a load of accessories including the official Triumph Black Expedition Panniers, engine guards, heated grips, comfort seat, rider and pillion and of course being the XRX it comes with cruise control and of course that tasty TFT dash. Woo! There you go, that lovely Tiger. That lovely, lovely Tiger 800 with black panniers, fully loaded, has currently sold 256 tickets, ladies and gentlemen, out of 15.99. We draw that from here next Thursday. Regardless of ticket sales, we will find a guaranteed winner. Take advantage. That's likely to be your best chance of winning a Tiger 800. Well, he will. <laughs> Me and him. I, I, I will be. I, I, I'm speaking for myself, really, aren't I? We're not together. I will be. <laughs> yeah, you, they're going away together on one of those camps, you know? <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so this now <clears throat> is everyone's favourite part of the show. This is... It's Manager Language with Dino. Oh, f*** off, you... 
Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, you can't see us, so I'll just introduce this. Um, if you don't watch every week and you don't know what this is, you'll be thinking, what? Dino is known for his swearing. One of our lovely customers sent us uh, an offensive swear book of how to swear in different languages and phrases all around the world. So we thought we'd spread the love and the education uh, and bring this to you. So this week's lesson with Dino is this, Dino, go. I'm just gonna fly to Spain. They can't see you, it's mate. Not, it's big. They can't see me. <laughs> they can't see you. I haven't got the camera on this. Yeah. All right. I can try and put it on Spanish if you want. It is Santas Bolas de Merda. So that is Santas Bolas de Merda. That's what it is. That was it. Yeah. What, do, what does that mean, Dino, in English? Holy shit balls. <laughs> <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, holy shit balls, if that's what it means. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was... It's Manager Language with Dino. Oh, coffee. Educating the nation every <laughs> single week. That's what I say. Doesn't look like you're going to get your grant either, does it, Dean? No. Well, Boris is buggered off now, isn't he? Boris, he's not interested. He's not taking yeah. that call anymore. He said, hasta la vista, baby. He actually did. <laughs> he had it He had it literally in the top of his intro. It worked it his next. way to the top. Yeah. It was next, and, and, he, and he left. But Gutted. You, Dan won't get that. Sarah, Sarah and Louise has sent 200 stars and oh. said she's going to get into the Tiger. Get oh. in that Tiger, Sarah. Could get be yours. Get in the Tiger. Okay, right. Let's move on to the slightly bigger prizes of the evening then, Dan. Come on then, big boy, what are we doing? I'm going to throw at you a Sealy tool chest, please. Well, I don't want to catch the bugger because it's no. big and heavy. Uh, here we go. Go Ticket on. numbers, one to two, four, nine. One, two, two, four, nine. That's here it. we go. Paul Nuttall's son was knocked off his bike last night. He was? No. Paul Nuttall's son was. Hope he's feeling, he's feeling all right, mate. How are you feeling all right, buddy? Only the guy ran off. Driver. Bastard. We don't like that, ladies and gentlemen. Apex is it. That is not fair Sorry. game. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, this toolkit. Let's do it because we've got five minutes left on the bike. <gasps> Come on then. One to two four nine. Is that what you said? One to two four nine. Happy days, drum and roll, good luck. And it is number one five three. One five three. One five three. Mm, Love a one five three. Right, let's have a look. Uh what am I on? Sealy. One five three. So if you didn't win this one tonight, then uh, as Dan's just shown me, we have that beautiful Weidman tool set next Thursday. Um, it's the 40 tickets at the minute. Absolute stunner, that one. Weidman or Widman? Who knows? Who knows? I'll go Weidman. Who knows? Weidman. Well, it is wide. And it's not a man. It's not a It could be. And who knows? Uh, right, right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ticket 153. <laughs> is he asleep? Ticket 153 uh, is, ladies and gentlemen... I presume a mister, Mr. Mike Maguire. Mike well Maguire. Well done, Mike. Uh, either side, we had Peter Kilburn, and the other side, we had James Harvey. Unlucky, Ooh. guys. But well done, Mike Maguire. Show Mike some love in the comments. Well done, Mike. Woo -hoo. Okay, shall we find another winner? Come on, then. Right, prize number eight. We're racking through them now, mate. Of course we are. Yeah, RST. Suit Liathers, the one uh, ticket numbers on this one also one to two four nine. Also, didn't sell out, so your odds are just even better. Even better, they're epic to start with, and even better to finish off with. Uh, right, drum and roll. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. It is number 75. Seven and five. Man alive, I've said that. Mm. <laughs> of course, you have. 75. Seven. There you go. Do, 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 How long do, have we got left do, on that do, do, do. We have three minutes and 40 seconds, mate. So you could still get your top up ticket. 100%. You could definitely Plenty get through in that time. time. 200 tickets left. 200. No way. Wow. There you go. Absolutely staggering. Staggering. Uh, right. Uh, we have a winner. Ticket number 75, RST Track Tech. Yeah. Uh, highlighting and bringing across for you now is, again, a mister. 75, Philip Hughes. Philip, Philip Hughes. Hughes. It's another foul up. Oh, sorry, I can't. What did we have before? Philip. Can't have this. Philip Hughes, ticket 75, either side. He was in a Craig sandwich, but different Craigs. Craig Edwards and Craig Thompson. <laughs> oh, right. uh, and either side of that, Mark Smith and Gary Wilkes. I'm lucky, guys. Philip before, so it's a different Philip. Uh, Philip Gary Hughes. Gary Wilkes is definitely in the comments. I'm lucky, guys. Unlucky, Gary. Watching. 
Philip Unlucky. Hughes. Right, okay. Uh, <coughs> let Dan reset that. So right. we're going to have a quick look at prizes ending Monday the 4th and Thursday the 8th, if that's okay. Are we the Christ? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me prizes find just some launched, I guess. A website. Prizes just launched. This so, is closing 1st of August. Um, I think it's the 4th, is it? 1st of August. Do we want to do closes 1st of August That's first? That's closes 1st on, on the Monday. Yeah, closes 1st on the Monday. We have, ladies and gentlemen, the £500 fuel voucher, currently 2% sold. Uh, drawn in 10 days on the 1st of August. Uh, super low odds, 99 ticket draw, £500 paid in cash. Uh, then we've got the Garmin Zumo XT Smart Nav. You guys love these. Uh, you've already found it. Uh, for quid a go. Then we've got the RST Retro One bundle. Absolutely perfect summer riding bundle this. Jacket, jeans, boots and t-shirt. Four quid a go. Then we've got a Rurok. We've got a Rurok Atlas 4.0 helmet. Choice of different colours and styles with Bluetooth and pin lock. Nine out of 299 tickets sold currently. Then we've got an SGS Mechanics 8 drawer tool chest. I've got one of these in my garage. They're excellent. I've had it for about 10 years. It is pretty damn robust. You will love it. There's only 99 tickets on that. That is a super low odds toolbox draw. It is empty though, it doesn't come with tools. So if you've got loads of tools, that's what you want. Alpine Stars T SPS Air Textile Jacket. Oh, we love a mesh jacket, Stu. Two tickets out of 149. Only, all the summer ones. Honestly, mm. 149 tickets. That's perfect, isn't it? What mm. a brilliant, Choice brilliant low odds price. Then we've got the TCX Mood Gore-Tex boots. We run these a few times. You guys love them, so we'll keep putting them up as long as you love them. Uh, and we've also got Return of the RST Sabres. You guys loved these last time. Clearly loving them again. Perfect summer riding boot. Nice and armoured. Choice different colours on that. Then we've got the Alpine Stars Ride Tech V2 short long sleeve summer top ladies and gentlemen very very nice indeed last minute on you kawasaki last minute you are literally 45 seconds and then dino will be doing an entry list for it uh, then the last prize to close on the monday the first of august is the rucker aft airflow gloves very nice indeed are we moving straight on to the yeah, fourth i thought we'd move straight on and then yeah that's cool we so can carry on it's been launched tonight <clears throat> so launch tonight fresh off the hot of the press uh we have the abba motorcycle skylift we haven't including done one for a while so Bike fitting kit, very nice indeed. Fits over 350 motorcycles, defies all gravity. Then we've got the Arai RX7V. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful, absolute top of the line helmet from Arai. Loads of different choices of colors and styles. Um, very expensive helmet, that's beautiful, that helmet. Then we've got and Nathan Vaughan will know about this because he's just had his delivered. His Revit bundle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the full suit with the jacket, the jeans and the gloves. Very nice indeed. Then we've got a Klim Marrakesh air jacket. Lovely, be beautiful textile uh, jacket this. Perfect summer riding jacket. Then we've got a Senna 50S. Bluetooth headset and intercom. The sound by Harman Kardon. You guys love the sound. You feedback's really good from winners. So we thought we'd go with another one of those. Then we've got the best blowjob in town, the Brol Pro Dual Turbine Motorcycle Dryer. Dries other things as well. A uh, bit hot, bit strong for your hair, but perfect for your vehicles. Then we've got a Revit GTR Air 3 jacket. Lovely, beautiful jacket from, uh, from Revit. And look at the colour choice. You can go as subtle or as bold as you'd like. <laughs> then we've got the Klim Blackjack Leather Boots. Beautiful summer leather riding boots. Choice of different colours on those. Klim, I don't know if you know these guys, but they make very, very high premium clothing, so check them out. Uh, Lindstrands, we've do loads of Lindstrand stuff in the past. This is uh, the Siljan Summer Gloves. Again, keeping it summer themed. We've got a good couple of months left of summer. Of course we have. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have a go at this. And then we've got the Revit Sierra textile jersey as well. Again, what a lovely, Just lovely um, low odds prize. 100 and 125 tickets between those two. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And then we got this. We got this. You could win yourself this Honda CB1100, an epic modern classic. Enter the competition. Receive your tickets immediately via email. Watch the live draw on the Apex 66 Facebook page on Thursday and wait for that call, which you could get telling you that you've just won a new motorcycle. And join over 800 Apex 66 winners. This Honda CB1100 is rated five stars by MTN. It's a fantastic looking retro with a huge 1,140 cc inline four engine 
more than enough grunt to have some fun with and look the part whilst doing so. Everything about the bike has been thought about, refined and then thought about again as it's developed over years into this latest generation. It's really beautifully put together and just look at it. With all that chrome, it looks absolutely tasty. I'm Dino at Apex 66, just like this for less than a tenner. Then head to the A check out what we've got live right now. There you go, guys. An absolute belter of a modern classic. Yeah. It's big. It's in inline four. 1100 cc. 1140cc, my man. Yeah. Everything that you want in a beautiful, just lovely roadster. It's smooth, it's refined, it's a Honda. It's done 4,000, it's beautiful. It's, it's really nice, black really and chrome, nice. looks the bollocks. Yeah. And uh, what a great punchy, heavyweight bike you and know? only 999 tickets 999 tickets um there we go absolutely and stunning early bird on until sunday so if you want to get the tickets just a little bit cheaper then uh, take advantage before take sunday. advantage quite a lot cheaper actually if you buy three in it that's right yeah it's cheap three for 25, uh, 25 quid. quid i think yeah, yeah bargains <coughs> give yourself a one in 300 chance of winning that beast we draw that <laughs> two weeks two, two weeks today <laughs> There we go. I'm just trying to work it out in my head, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. What are we what? doing? Phrase that pays. We doing phrase that pays now. All right. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know we were. Well, we anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the phrase that pays. This. Anyone remember what it is? Anybody remember what it is? So basically, if you bought tickets in any of the small prizes tonight, okay, um, some have been drawn and some to be drawn, you are basically in the mix. Every ticket goes into a free bonus draw. We're going to spin the wheel three times. We're going to pick out some numbers. We may call you right now. So stand by your bed. And the phrase this week is... Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. You have to answer the phone with that phrase. Anything other than that, any hello or any of that rubbish. <laughs> All right, Dave, any of that. No, doesn't go in. You could win 150 pound web credit on the spot, can't you? 150 pound web credit, for doing nothing. I've got my phone here. I'm ready to dial some numbers. Woo woo. Right then, uh, this Dino, I need to get to when the this works, it works brilliantly. We've had three winners. 1,504 so tickets. It's so, beautiful. one to 1,504. Oh, four. That's how many tickets were sold on the small stuff uh, across the week. Uh, so, what we'll do is we will spin the wheel. We'll find a number. And I'll give you a little tip to who it is, but we're not going to tell you who it is because it's quite fun. I quite like it. Right, so the number is 592. Right, five let nine me two. scroll down and find 59. This is fun. I like it. Right. Da da da, da da da. Five nine two. I need to zoom my eyes in here. What was it? Five nine two. Five nine. Bit more. Yeah. Bit more. Bit Dan more. Dan explains this very well to whoever does. Well, you say that you're doing it this week, mate. I'm not doing it because I. Hello. Well, do you know what you could have won? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hokey cokey. Are we ready? We ready. Oh. Do we recognise the name? I'm just gonna. Uh, so, da, 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 da. as a little reminder, your phrase, and you must answer the phone with this: "Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get." What's the first name, Dan? Sorry, mate. I'm trying. I'm really trying hard to read a number. Uh, it's a very popular name. One I'd like. Yeah, of course you would, because it shares the same first name as you, mate. Uh, it is a Stuart. Ooh. So if your name's Stuart, stand by your bed. Ooh. God, it's so small on there. Right, are we ready? Let me do this, turn this right up. Bosh, bosh. I can hear it. Oh no, 
Stuart, this is Dan at Apex 66. We're playing a little game called the phrase that pays on our live draw tonight. And if you answered with the correct phrase, you would have won a load of web credit. I'm so sorry this time around. Oh, no, I've actually just got in. Oh, oh no, no. got it, <laughs> got it. Well, hey, you've still got more chance because you it's will be in on a few, you, there's three three more spins yet, or two more spins yet. Oh yeah. So yeah. if I phone you back and you get lucky a second time round, make sure you answer with the right phrase, which would have been, <laughs> The phrase was, the phrase life was, is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> that classic from Forrest Gump. But thank you for answering the phone, and I'm glad you've just yeah. got in. So tune in now. We haven't drawn the bike yet. <laughs> All right, no worries, Dan. Thanks, bye, bye. 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 Ooh, well, there we go. So, <laughs> we spin again. We spin again. We do up to three. Have a bit of fun. Three chances. Three right, chances. spinning again. Next number, 963. Three. Going down some more. This is fun. You do explain it very well, Dan. <laughs> do I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nine, six, three. Here we go. Nine, six, three. I'm have to go close again. Sorry, guys. I know you can see the side of my face, which isn't very good. Uh, oh, seven. Oh, I've got it first ticket already. Honda has. Woo woo! Yeah. Only 998 to go. <laughs> <laughs> Who sold it? Let's give a shout out to them. Uh, who, bought it? who bought it? Sorry. <laughs> right, I think that number's in. I'm pretty confident. God, it's so small, I can barely read it. Wouldn't yeah. You, wouldn't you like it? Oh, it's sold about four now. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're loving that retro three, beast. Three by Jeremy Cook and one by Mike Spencer. Ooh, legend. Ooh. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Mike. You are in the draw. Big love. Well done, guys. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's the first name? Uh, it is David. Ooh. Welcome to the uh, e -E -E. No. Moving on, next. One more Next go. number, 1,050. 1,050. 1,050. So, so if, we get, no answer, if we get no answer on this next one, that'll be the longest it's gone, I believe. So that'll be the highest price yeah. pop. Ooh, it's quite fun, isn't it? There's no background music today. There's what? There's no background music. It's all very quiet. There is. Oh no, it's because I'm not listening on the on the live, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, 1050, let me get onto this. Let me hide it, oh that's a bit easier to see. Right, here we go. Right, the first name is Craig. Craig, so if you are a Craig and you are watching, stand by your beds. Right, I think that's right. He's got a nice phone number. He's got some double numbers in it. I quite like it. Here we go. Everyone be quiet. Hello, Chris, again. Oh, Craig, this is Dan at Apex 66. We're just playing a little game on our live draw called the phrase that pays. And what you needed to do was answer the phone with a specific phrase that we gave out on our draw tonight. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. No, it's all right. No. No worries at all, but there's still more. The bike yet, we've not drawn the bike yet, and we've still got a few more prizes to draw, so you still may win something tonight. Who knows? Brilliant, awesome. Thanks. No, thank you for answering the phone, though. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers, bye, bye. Okay, so that means now that is the biggest prize pot. Roll over, ladies and gentlemen. £175 web credit next week. Wow. Okay, uh, that was. <clears throat> It pays to say the phrase. Um, yo, yo, yo. Well done. We're so back. that was the phrase that pays. We'll be back next week. So well done, everybody. Listen up, everybody. Question number two. Um, how tall is Blackpool Tower? <laughs> I think you're going to point to me. <laughs> and I was going to wait and see all the, the, the trolls come in on four foot. How tall 
is Blackpool Tower. Right, what do we want this in? In metres, please. In metres, there we go, that's quite important. <laughs> If someone put foot and they were really accurate and didn't get in tomorrow, they'd be pissed right off, wouldn't they? In metres, please. How in tall meters. is Blackpool Tower? It's actually question number two. <laughs> okay. Dean, where are you today? <laughs> Dean's taken some LSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Mm, dear. Um, okay, let's find a winner for another prize. Prize number nine, which is the Senna motorcycle helmet with a choice of styles. The Senna helmet, ladies Ticket and gentlemen. Ticket numbers, Dan, are one to one nine nine. Are they indeed, they are indeed one two one nine nine? Yep. Is in the mix. It did Drum and roll. Out. So good luck to everybody Happy? that entered. Happy. Drum and roll, good luck. It's number 80. Eight zero. Blind 80. Blind 80. That's what they say, isn't it? It is what they say, Dan. There we Blind go, let's 80. have a look. Number 8A. Is. Oh, we've sold. It is sold. It is. There was a few not sold on this. There so. was no number 79. No 79. But there was mm. an 80. Oh, okay. So, bring it up now. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for, again, I presume a mister. I've never met a female version. Uh, ticket 80 on the centre helmet is Darren Robinson. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Darren and Robinson. Either side, we had Alan Henson, Ooh. one away off a double win, uh, and Callum Gray was the other side. Callum well done, Gray. guys. Unlucky, uh, but well done, Darren Robinson. That's Rob yeah, Robinson. Robinson. Congratulations. Look at Dean. <laughs> what a knob. <laughs> uh, sorry, does I say that out loud? He can hear us, can't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. Um, right, no. on to the final big prize. Small prize of the evening. <laughs> Final big, big small, small prize. prize of the evening. Huge small prize this, this one. This is uh, a really popular um, prize towards the end of the day. I think it sold out in the end. Uh, ticket numbers one to just 99. Did it sell out, did it? It did sell out in the end, yeah. And there so, we go. Uh, wishing everybody the best of luck for this one because it's a wicked prize. It is indeed. Drumming roll, good luck. Good luck. Ooh. It's a massive number. 40. 40. Half what it was before. <laughs> yeah, it is. There Good chat. Go. Good maths, Chief. Good math. Good maths, yeah. mate. I've been, I've been known for it, mate. You have, haven't oh, you? Yeah. Got, oh, is it an apple? No, it's a marshmallow, is it? Or? Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. I spoke too soon. Why? I spoke too soon. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Ah. Here you go. Winner with ticket number 40 on the sports bike shop voucher is. Alan Hansen. Oh, he's picked up his double win, ladies and gentlemen. I just said, oh, he's won off a double win. Well, there you go. He's uh, he's won the double. He's in the, he's in the comments as well. He's, won the, he's well, won the double. Well done, buddy. There we go, Alan. Congratulations. Congratulations. In it to win it. You have to be in it to win it, and you certainly are. So, Yarg, you do. Um, so, well done. Okay, that's all of the smaller prizes done. Um, I'm now going to give you question number three, Ooh. which is... How many times has John McGuinness won Ooh. the Isle of Man TT? <laughs> I'll give that again. I thought there was something happening outside there. Um, how many times has John McGuinness won the Isle of Man TT? It's a bloody good question. Good question. Okay. It's more it's more than once, isn't it? It's more than once. So, that's your three questions. So, if you get those answers is it, in. Is it more time than that Kawasaki has sold tickets? <laughs> Not quite. Um, um, so, I like it, Dean. Regular viewers of Apex 66 will see, would have seen last week that we were out and about. And oh, we, yeah. And we were doing. That was quite uh, fun, wasn't it? A nice little project um, with our good friends at Ducati Manchester Group and with. A former seven-time world champion. Yes, he is. We've yeah, got, not for Dan. Yeah, not for Dan. Um, this is a, a nice little video that we've put together for them, so hope you enjoy it. Enjoy. <laughs> for the Desert X, then, what a bike. And for something that is... Predominantly, I guess, designed as a bit of an off-road bike. What did you make of its road handling? I loved it on the road. Honestly, I really did. Um, on the country lanes, 
all the whiny, twisty country lanes, especially around here over um, in the Ribble Valley, over a place called Tropper Bowl, and, and uh, you drop down to Waddington and places like that. It, it was great fun to ride, honestly. It's just so easy, so comfortable to ride, you know, so much power. Woo, let's go. So of the bikes I ride, I want to ride on the road. Right now, um, this is my favourite bike to ride because of the position of it, really. Yeah, yeah. And the handling of it and the power of it. Um, and the comfort, that's the most important thing for me, being old and knackered. But we were on it. amazing. I absolutely love riding it. Yeah. Everything, the brakes are unbelievable on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got M50s. It's crazy on the... That's ridiculous, the, really. I was surprised at how good the, with the 21 inch in and the eight, eight, you got like off-road kind of sizes, really. But yeah, yeah. like I said, on the country lanes, it was just really good. Even when I shot up the motorway to come here on it, it was great. Quite fast. Do some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 110 horsepower. I mean, yeah, I know, it's like, I know. That's not bad out of a, what I class as a middleweight adventure bike. I love riding it, mate. I really do. I love it, honestly. Really enjoy riding it. I get, the more I ride it, the more and more confident I get on it, really, which is probably a bad thing. <laughs> the display is really good. It's all there. It's, it's, it's big enough writing. I could see it with even my dodgy eyes. Um, <laughs> but I just put everything in rally mode, which is everything off. I just, I'm old school, I guess. I want to be able to be, in, you know, not like these who ride today or, or more GP guys, all electronics on. I switch it all off and let's see who can, who, who's the best rider then, you know what I mean? So I was like that, like a bit old school, switch everything off and just man and machine. But when, but when, it, but when you, the power just come in on the gravelly roads and the farm, you know, kind of farm lane, kind of bridle paths, I'm like, ooh, maybe I should have put some electrics back on it. Like, ah! <laughs> you know what, nearly went there. <laughs> Oh the hell. You forget how much power's there, you know, it soon lights up. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. No, it's good, it's good fun. I there's lots know. of modes in there. There's six, there's six rider modes. For me, someone that's a bit more novice, I, I need the rider modes to be fair. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. it's you, amazing. I, yeah, but I, everything you want is on there if you want it. And a lot of people do, like yourself, you know. It's brilliant to be able to have the choice. Isn't yeah. It? You can turn it all off or you can leave it on. And it is easy one to is do as well, even I can do it. It's fairly easy on the, on the button to, to change it from, uh, from whatever settings you want, like you say, you know. Ground nice. clearance is wicked as well. You've got like 250 yeah. meter ground clearance, yeah. long travel suspension. So it is properly capable off-road, this bike. No, at low speed, it was it was really relatively easy to ride, which, I, which surprised me. I thought with the weight of it, and yeah. the, the, the engine, the power, it would be difficult in, in the first and second gears on tight, twisty, rutty kind of, you know, sh loose climbs, but it was fine, it was really good. Uh, it's at high speed, the thing's so quick, it really yeah. is quick. It, it, yeah. For me, it was trying to get going all the time, you know. Yeah, sure. And then she got in third and fourth gear, it just, wow, it just took off. And honestly, you're looking down at speed, I'm thinking, shit, this is fast, you know. <laughs> it's more the handling for me. If it doesn't, yeah. it feels like it's going to just want to go straight on or just drop over, then that's where I've got a problem. But yeah, sure. it was nothing like that. It just, it just went in nicely and it didn't feel like it was going to drop on the floor. I didn't want to go straight on. It was just, it was worked really, really well, which surprised me. Maybe it's a, Obviously, the 21 inch wheel will probably help really when you're off road because that's yeah, what, sure. what we're used to using, aren't we? On, on a motocross bike still yeah. and, and enduro bikes, so I guess that's, that, that's the reason for that, and it was perfect. As an out of the box machine and as a package overall, then? Yeah, it's, I mean, I think I'm sure the bike's going to win a lot of awards at the end of the year. Just a great bike, I think it's. One that's got a lot of people excited or into Ducatis and wanting him to go this way for a while and, yeah. and here it is and uh, it's not disappointed that's for sure. And he just about managed to keep up with me, to be honest, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he, he struggled, but uh, might have been the other way around. At that. times he was like, oh, go easy, Dan, Jesus. <laughs> there you go. No, it was a great Sensational. day. Sensational. Great day. And um, yeah, we just thought that um, we'd show you that because obviously we ran the bike a few weeks ago. We're yet to deliver it down to you, but that's purely because we've just been waiting for it to come in. We are. And we thought we'd give you a little teaser of uh, what's possible on that bike, so no pressure. Pretty, pretty handy off-road, actually. <laughs> no pressure. Um, get me out of here. Did you, Paul Blowers, did you wheelie it too, Dan? Absolutely not, I'm a responsible rider. Oh, well, he tried. <laughs> he did try. Yeah. Tried a few times. 
<laughs> um, right. not, on, not on purpose. No. <laughs> yeah, not That's on what purpose. I usually say when people go, did you wheelie? Not on purpose. That was <laughs> <Yeah>. purely accident. <laughs> Right, let's find a winner. So, as right. you know, um, we were a couple of hundred short from selling out. Oh, yeah. So that basically means we're not going to draw the bike. <laughs> that um, is not the Apex 66 no, promise, that is not the Apex 66 promise. The Apex 66 <clears throat> promises that we draw every single prize regardless, and this is a fine example of that. So, ticket numbers are one, two, treble nine. I'm in, mate. I'm ahead of the game on nine. this one because I can remember it. You can remember this one. Right. Um, Drumming roll. Yeah, very best of luck. Here we go, drum roll everyone. Good luck. And it is number 414. Ooh. 414, that's a low number. 414, four, four, baby. Four, Dino says 414. Four. Four. Right, let's have a look then. A bit of scrolling. Found the front background, Sheila. Wait for it. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's that? Look behind you. Are they cats? They're cats. <laughs> Let's have a little looky see. Four. I'm getting there. Four one four. We have a winner, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. First time round. First time round. Four one four. Highlighting really? now. I cannot see that. I'm going to struggle to pronounce it. No, I won't. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Vaclav Oros. Vaclav, Vaclav Oros. Oros. Congratulations. You have won yourself a Kawasaki Z1000 SX Tourer. Either side, we had Scott Henderson, Jeremy Cope, oh, previous yeah. bike winner, Peter Brogan, previous bike winner, and Brian Irvine. Unlucky guys, but well done, Vaclav Oros. We will be calling you in a second. Let's do that. Let me find his numero. Let me do it. Thank you to Ducati Worcester for having us. Thank you. Thank you. We got this bike from Peacock, Steve. Thank you to Peacock Charm for having us. I'm just going to dial his number two sex. God, it's really small. It's because we were talking about Ducati a second ago. Yes, we were. Right, let's phone. Vaclav, I think that's Vaclav? That's going to be, isn't it? Let me just double check the number. Yeah. Vaclav. Yeah. There you are. Oh, on there. Yeah, good. Right, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, oh, user busy. Look, that means he's on the phone then. Get off the phone, man. So we'll try it again, try shall again. we? Right, let me just check again. Yeah, that's him. Oh, oh. Oh, is that Vaclav? <laughs> he doesn't want to win a bike today, does he? Well, I'm sorry, Vaclav. What you need to do is answer the phone, otherwise you don't win a bike. Let's try again. Hello? Hi, Vaclav. Yep. Hiya, this is Dan at Apex 66. How are you? Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just watching the, the video and it's got some time delay. Oh, right, yeah, I can hear it. You're watching the live and I can hear it back. Stick your, um, stick, are you watching it on your phone? No, 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 on the computer. On the, on the computer, right, mute the computer. Um, so you're watching it live. Do you know why I'm phoning you? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. And, 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 and honestly, I'm laughing here the way you pronounce my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to know it is. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to correct me on it. I, I'm not very good at this. Dino's worse, but I'm not bad. Go on. Uh, it's Václav. Václav. C yeah, like C.S. Václav. Oh, yeah, Václav. I said Václav. That's terrible, isn't it? I wasn't even close. I, I need no, shooting no, for that. No, no, no. Awful. And how do you pronounce your surname? Oros. Oros, yeah, that one's... That you one. got we that got one. That one. We got that one. Well, I nearly got it. Yeah, it's uh, with a R rather than a R. So, um, yeah, there you go. Well, well done, you. Whereabouts are you from? In Croydon. In Croydon, there we go. So closer to Dino than us. Yeah. There we go. We know we know we know Croydon reasonably well. Um so congratulations. You've been playing a little while? 
Um, about, I don't know, a year or two. Oh, wow, yeah, so pretty much oh, from the wow. beginning then. Yes. Yeah, good man, thank you very much for your support. Well, I'm very, very pleased for you because it's finally paid off. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's superb. Are you excited? I can't, even if I'm like watching it, I can't still believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to watch it, you're going to do what everybody does now and watch it back just to make sure it's all real. <laughs> make sure in Excel and everything. And yeah, yeah. Still, you came and met us in London? Still thinking like, yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, good man. Yeah, still watching it and, and thinking, like, is this for real? <laughs> well, so, that's yeah. thumbs up from me, from Stu, and from Dino, wherever he is. Oh, he's, he's there in his office. I thought he was going to be in space somewhere. <laughs> well done, buddy. What we'll do is we'll let you go now, um, and we'll give you a shout tomorrow, and we'll arrange all the details and go from there. All right. Okay. Brilliant. Well done to you. Well done. Thank you for answering the phone. Appreciate it, and thank you for watching the lives, and thank you for your support for for all the years. I can almost say that, can't I? <laughs> That's quite cool. There we go. Thank you, buddy. We'll catch you later. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. 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 Oh, that's nice. Oh wow. How is nice that he came and met us at London? Yeah. I don't remember. Maybe it's because I'm thinking Vaclav, and actually it's, that's not his that's name. That's not his name. It's, it's, it's not his name. <laughs> that, that might be why. But well done uh, to... How do you pronounce it? Uh, I'm not going there. I still don't know. No, <laughs> so I'm gonna, we, we will get there. Yeah, well done to all, well the, done, all the winners. Tonight. No roll, uh, sorry, no winner on the phrase that pays, so that rolls over. That's £175. Yes, it is. So that's worth watching alone or even buying your small tickets. Mm. Um, yeah, thanks to Dan's office. <laughs> Thank you very much for <laughs> having us. Thanks to Dean's Wi Fi. <laughs> and uh, and so, yeah. Monday. <laughs> and the space cats. And, and the, the space, space cats. cats. And the space cats. Uh, so thank from you all of us. to everybody who bought a ticket. If you didn't win this time, you only have until Monday to wait and try again. So, love you lots, everybody. Love you. Bye bye. Bye bye.